Hey everybody, my name is Rochelle Melander. I am the author of 11 books, a writing coach, and the founder of Dream Keepers, a writing program for, for young people and children. And what we're going to do today as part of our Arts at Large exercise is write a tiny book. So I've been teaching this exercise a long time and I find that it's a really great way um, to share what you're feeling and to combine your talents in writing and art. So this is one written by one of our friends at the library or at a Dream Keepers event and it's called Six Ways to Be a Friend. Share your snacks. Be kind to your friends. Include friends if, there are, if they are alone. Don't let your friends bully you. Listen to your friends. Be nice and don't be mean. Friends, that's all. And if, I don't know if you noticed this, but the author started writing the word friends throughout. So it starts with F on the first page and then R, I, E, N, D, S. So this is the kind of book we're going to write today and I've written lots of them. This one is called The Best Part of Me, which talks about favorite things. It doesn't have to be a lot of words, my hands my imagination. Um, we have another book called I Am. So this is an easy um, basis. So you start with I am and then you put the things that you are creative, imaginative, curious, studious, wiggly, still. You can see um, the computer makes some turn backwards, but I think you can kind of understand. So I thought today what we would do is um, write either on how to play alone or things to do when you're stuck inside the house, because we're all kind of stuck inside of our houses. And it's hard to find ways to be, you know, to keep yourself occupied. So what you need is, is some kind of a notebook. And, and one way to start the writing process is just to make a list. So you notice this is just an old notebook that belonged to one of my kids. Um, and I have my little jar of markers. Hopefully you have crayons or something that you can use. Um, I'm using markers because you can see them better. So I made a list already, how to play alone, play solitaire. So solitaire is just cards um, all by yourself. And you can make up games even to play by yourself with cards. Um, play ball. So you can bounce the ball, you can bounce it against a, a wall outside, you can bounce it against the sidewalk, you can play sidewalk truck, you can do hopscotch or something like that. You can read books, that's a great thing to do. And if you're bored, you can read them out loud or make them into plays. You can write stories, which is what we're going to do today. Um, or you can talk to a friend. So these are all things you can do to play alone. And if you notice, our books, each have six pages. So you're gonna to want to come up with six things which we have on our list. Another way to do your book is to do a mind map. So in a mind map, you put the thing that you're gonna talk about in the middle. I put shelter fun. Um, and then you put some of the topics that you could think about writing about um, around the circle. So I put as categories, I put, well, we could exercise, we could read, we could investigate, you know, we could snoop around outside and see what we could come up with. We can learn, play, create, create, practice, like if you practice piano or something like that. We can rest, of course. So these are big categories, but they're not very specific. And when it comes to writing a book, you want to have more specific details. It's just going to be much more interesting and it's going to be more fun for you to write and illustrate. So for each of these, I put different things I could do or that you could do. Um, so for exercise, I thought, well, I could do sit-ups. Mm, not so much fun. So maybe I could run. Running is fun. You know, you could do sprints. You could make it even more specific or you could run around the block. That's really fun. Um, you could take a walk, you could do yoga, you could do Pilates, you could do jumping jacks, you can do all sorts of specific things here. Um, reading, I talked about different things I could read. Learning, I, I talked about maybe learning a poem, um, learning some music, 
um, learning for school, um, for investigate. I thought about um, some of the scientists who used to spend a lot of time investigating outside. So you could go outside and investigate earthworms or investigate the flowers that are starting to emerge. Any of that could be really interesting for you. For playing, I thought, well, you could play music, of course. You could play games. You could play some sort of imaginary thing with either an imaginary friend, um, or you could imagine um, a game. You could imagine a story. Um, for create, of course, I talked about doing art because art is a great way to create. So the drawing, but you can also create with food. You can create by writing stories. You can create by making up games. Um, and then practicing would be like music, yoga, tap dancing, all the things that you want to learn how to do and get better at. You could even practice math, which seems odd, but it's true. It's very good for you. And then I put resting and resting isn't just sleeping, although that's part of it. Resting is also, you know, napping or laying down and daydreaming or um, just taking some time to breathe and, and to stay calm. So these are all things that we could put in our book. And then when I went back later, um, I thought, well, I need to circle six of these.